expect to have your four years here because you plan them here. And then they tell you that your last year you can't have it here and you don't know what you'll do. You already had senior year planned out. Yeah, you don't have it. You know, the alums, um, they are incredible success stories who've done so much in the community, but they're also, you know, moms and, and aunts and, and godmothers in the community. You know, so they're people who have literally raised uh, generations in this neighborhood. I think what's distinctive about the St. Hubert student is the incredible confidence that these ladies have when they leave here and yet how selflessly they give back to the community. And so many of these women go on to great things and uh, outside of the community, but so many of them stay here and make a significant difference in this working class row home community. My daughter, who is an eighth grader at St. Matthew's School, every positive female role model in her life is a St. Hubert's alum at this point. Probably my mom because I live with her, so I know like her more. And she's always such a nice person and she always does what's best for me. And I feel that if I come to St. Hubert's, I can be just like her. Our motto is women of faith and integrity, and it isn't just a motto. They're the girls work so hard, they really believe that they can make a difference going forward as they, as they grow, and they're working very hard to make that difference. It's like I wake up, like some people hate going to, going to school, like oh, I have to go do this, do, go do that, but I enjoy it. like every class I'm in, I love going to school, and I don't, I couldn't picture like going to a different school because this is my home. They know what this school has done for them. I know as a parent what this school has done for them academically, socially, their whole maturation process. This environment has been such a nurturing environment that it can't go away because it can't be, can't be duplicated. What's it take to convince them that this building has to be open? You know, we're doing everything possible. Um, are they looking at us from a human standpoint? Are they looking at these kids as being kids? Is the church reaching out to us? Or are they doing it as a business? I didn't see it coming at all. We, ever, I think everyone was shocked. Everyone was just really upset. It was really another way. I didn't, for a second, I didn't know what I was going to do. I don't, I still don't know where I would go. I don't know, like, what the next year holds for me.